Good evening. Zookeeper here again. Uh, today I'm going to go over my um, what I'll call a Rudman regulator. It's sort of the um, Zookeeper version of a Rudman regulator. You can look that up on the internet. Um, I tried that initially and where did my parts go? Um, Rudman regulator basically uses a Zener diode one of these little guys. Let's see if I can. A Zener diode. And a light bulb, such as this, right here, to regulate the voltage um, across battery terminals with a resistor. Um, anyway, uh, I can get a 4 volt Zener diode. That's easy enough to do. That'll handle the current I need. However, the problem I ran across is due to manufacturing problems and supply chain problems right now, which is May of 2021, they're unobtainium. The only ones you can get are like $5 a piece and I need 40 of them. Well, I'm not spending $200 on Zener diodes. That's crazy. So I was doing some research and I came up with this guy, a TL431. It's called a shunt regulator. There's a few other names for it. I've got a package of four of them right here. And uh, I have one of them hiding way down here. You know what? I should probably not use a conductive device to do that. I've got one of them hiding underneath this light bulb down here. Um, and that's this guy right here. And what I've done is I connected the cathode, the Zener side, to the positive terminal of a power supply set for 4.25 volts. And then I use two variable resistors. These happen to be 1K variable resistors, um, which I could draw like that. Um, 1K and 1K. And uh, I'm simply balancing the voltage that this guy turns on at, which lights up the light bulb. And you can see here the light bulb is well, rather dimly lit. This is actually a, um, a 1.75 watt bulb, 1.5 volts, so it'll, it'll pull an amp. Um, I mean, more than an amp, actually. Uh, but the regulator itself, the TL431, is limited to uh, 100 milliamps TL431 max is 100 milliamps well all the research I did said the leaf batteries typically uh, balance or regulate at less than 50 milliamps a hundreds on the high side they, they'll balance all the time at like 10 to 20 milliamps so my thought process is, if a TL431 will limit my voltage on a Purcell, and all I'm trying to do when I charge my batteries is to keep an individual battery from going above 4.2 volts. So uh, all the research I did, and you can see the meter here, is showing um, 4.029, is your battery capacity from 4 volts to 4.2 volts changes very very little um, there's a guy off-grid garage he's done some testing um, not on leaf batteries but on lithium-ion batteries in general and uh, even a tenth of a volt doesn't seem to make a very big difference in the absolute capacity of the battery typically less than one or two percent so my you know the, the all of the information I've seen with leaf spy is that Nissan's charging these batteries to 4.05 volts. So 4.05 volts is leaf, give or take. So I've got this set for 4.02, 4.03 using two variable resistors and a TL431 um, and a light bulb as a load, which is my load 
inductive or in my uh, my uh, light bulb load right here. And um, yeah, so that's how I'm going to run my regulators. And uh, anyway, this is oh my meter is going to go to sleep. Um, anyway, that's a quick update for tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm going to try to set up this set this up on a real battery and watch it work. I have some soldering to do. That's why I bought five of these and a whole bunch of light bulbs. And I also have to find out my, what my actual resistance values are after I get this taken apart. Anyway, that's my update for today, and Zookeeper out.